Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the action button mute not available or working on your iPhone after iOS 26 update. You want to follow these steps, so let's get started. So if you're finding that it isn't working or the mute button isn't holding when you press and hold on it, what you need to do first is go into your setting and then go to action button right here. And then move around this toggle to see if you can find it. So you're going to see which control it's currently set to and then look for silent mode or the mute option. So it should be there. Now let's say you still don't see it here after doing this. The next thing you want to do is follow this step. You're going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold down this side button. So what I do is quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then I hold down this side button just like that. I'm going to wait for the screen to go completely black before I let go of that side button. So just keep on holding it down. And then once you see the Apple logo appear on the screen, you let go. This is known as a force restart, which shuts down the phone software and then reloads the code. So if it's a software glitch bug, you should go ahead and fix it. And if it doesn't work the very first time, go ahead and try it again. And then your phone should turn on. So sometimes it takes a couple of tries to get hang of it, but you get the idea. Now let's say you did all that and still not working. The next thing to do is go into your setting, general, and then scroll all the way down to transfer reset iPhone. Click on reset and you need to reset all the settings. So what happens when you reset all the settings, enter your phone's passcode, it resets the settings such as your settings, Apple card keys, passes will be removed. But however, data like your photos, videos, apps will not get deleted. Again, an important way to reset if that silent or the mute option is not available. Finally, let's say you did all of this, it simply isn't working. There are two different other options you can do. One is if you have a backup, backup your phone and then factory reset and then restore from the backup. It is a tedious process, which we'll show you in another video since it does take time. And the other thing you can do is wait for the next update that usually Apple will fix, send out for the any bug fixes, so in your setting, general, soft update, and look to see if there's a new update available. We should be coming within the next couple of weeks, and that should go ahead and fix it, especially if it's something that most users are experiencing. So that's gonna be the fix. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.